Welcome to D-Lab Electronics everybody. D-Lab has teamed up with Amplified Parts. They're my main part supplier for my repairs and builds. So I've decided to launch a project with them. So many of you have been asking me to supply a complete amp kit. I don't have the time or resources to pull that off, but Amplified Parts already has the solution. If you've been considering building your first tube amp kit, however, you don't want something too pricey or complicated, consider the Mod 102 kit offered by Amplified Parts. So in this video, I'm going to build that kit. It'll be built to the print. After I complete it, I'm going to test it, and I'm going to give you an honest evaluation of what I think of the build, quality parts, and sound. Then I build another Mod 102 kit, but in this build I'm going to incorporate the updates that I believe will enhance the design of the amplifier. Following that, we'll test it and do a comparison to the first model. Amplified Parts is pretty interested in the results. It may launch a new line of Class A amplifiers. They're also going to offer discounts for those of you that contact them and reference this video series. All right, let's get to the build. All right, let's look over the kit. This is the box which it would come in. I've only unpackaged one at this time. So we have our power transformer, output transformer, a metal enclosure painted gray. All the parts are inside couple of decals, one for the front and rear panel. But the thing that I really like the best is it actually came with an instruction manual on paper. Not some crazy PDF file that you got to strain and have a laptop in your way. These guys took the time to really well document the process. So the manual starts off with how to build an amp there's information on soldering, all your parts layout, sketches. This kind of reminds me of how Heathkit did it. So I'm really impressed with the documentation. So let's take a look at the parts that came with the kit. First off, it came with a high quality Hammond power transformer, the 269EX. Beautiful transformer. The output transformer is a P-T31. This is a 5K to 8 ohm output transformer. I use these in a lot of my Class A builds. All the other components are bagged in here. Well protected. I see Switchcraft jacks. The power jewel there. Inline fuse holder. Have our terminal boards. Alpha pots. The tube shield there. GE47. Have our assorted capacitors. I'm assuming the big ones here are the filter caps. Bag of hardware. Miscellaneous uh, resistor roids there. Power cord. Wire and of course tubes. So we got JJ. We got an ECC83 which is a 12AX7. So yep it appears as though you have everything required to build your first little Class A amplifier. I'm kind of excited to build this thing. Let's get the process started. Another thing to note is that this chassis is already pre-punched. If you were to build your own Class A amplifier from scratch, you'd have to lay out and do all this drill work. So it's nice that it's already ready to go, painted, ready to build. For the interest of time, we're going to take this build in stages. So I'm going to initially mount everything mechanically to the chassis per the manual. Then we'll have a segment of wiring and then we'll have the initial power up and testing of the amplifier. I don't want to bore you guys watch me put little screws and nuts on the chassis. I think we can all handle that. Okay, let's go. All right, I have everything mechanically mounted per their diagram. They even specify what wire leads go into what holes of the grommets, which is very cool. Have my front and rear decals on. Here's the pots, power switch, terminal boards are mounted. We are ready to wire. 
All right, we're going to start our evaluation with a stock mod 102 kit build. This one was built per the print. So when we look underside, you'll see that this amp matches this line diagram. The thing I really enjoyed about the kit was the documentation. It really reminds me of the Heath kits that I built many years ago. I love the focus on safety. There was soldering, step-by-step -step procedure, plus pictorials, which is a big plus. And I also like the extra effort that they put into this kit for troubleshooting, such as the voltage charts that you never see with a kit build. So the chassis, as you can see, has a nice layout, everything fit with no mods necessary. The amp's tone stack is nice and responsive. I really liked these cupcake fender style knobs that they used and these panel overlays, although simple, were effective for this type of a kit build. They also included a bottom cover, which is a huge safety plus. This is definitely the perfect kit for the beginners exploring the hobby. All right, we're now looking bottom side of the stock amp build. As I stated, this build matches the line diagram. I made no updates. I wanted to see how this thing performed out of the box. All right, so I got Tony here at D-Lab and what we're up to is testing mod 102 amplifiers. So this one has the stock EL84 output tube. So this kit was built per the print. Then I upgraded an amplifier to a 6V6 output. The only difference being is I had to re-bias that, but the circuitry pretty much stayed the same. So we're gonna do an AB comparison. First we'll start with the EL84, then we'll switch over to the 6V6 and see what you think. and see what the difference is. Alright, so we'll start out around, I think you're right around there. of the tube and the biasing because the tone circuit and everything else is identical so so in conclusion the mod 102 amplifier kits are great for entry-level builders you don't have to spend a lot of money you get to experiment with a handmade amplifier in comparison the fender champ kit is more than double the cost as you can see the mod 102 kit has some advantages as demonstrated in this video, it's easy to update it to run a 6V6 rather than EL84. The support circuitry 
and output transformers will line right up. So if you don't like the EL84 sound, make it a 6V6 amp. Amplified Parts carries all the components necessary to change this amp over to a 6V6 if you wish. And D-Lab Electronics will supply you instructions and a schematic on request. Alright, so what are you waiting for? You want to build an amp? Order yourself a little Mod 102 kit and get building. So if you contact Amplified Parts, reference this video, they'll give you guys a discount. You can get into the hobby and have some fun building your first tube amp kit. Thanks for watching.